again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Really pleased you've tuned in, and I trust you'll find it worthwhile. It'll do you good as you go off into your day. Or if it's later on in the day, I hope it'll encourage you on your way. Let's pray. We're in the middle of, well, we're getting towards the end of Psalm 35. We've lingered a bit on this because it's really all about the walk of faith. Uh, the psalmist going through tough stuff, but yet, well, I'm, I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. Yep, I'm going to give testimony. I'm going to come through. We're going to finish that psalm, I trust, this morning. Lord, oh, equip us, Lord. We, we want to walk well. We want to walk this walk you've called us to. We want to walk well with you, Lord. We, 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 Lord, forgive us when we... We're perhaps quick to doubt you. Where are you? This isn't fair, Lord. We, we all do those things. And it's quite encouraging to hear the psalmist doing it. And yet to, for hope to burst through all his questions, uh, believing that you're going to bring him through. So, Lord, speak to us this morning and encourage our hearts. Strengthen us. We want to be growing in you and walking well before you. In Jesus' name. Okay, so we're in, in uh, Psalm... Uh, 35 and uh, we, we had the, the mobbing last time you know we've had people scheming against him at the beginning of the psalm then he felt mobbed and got out and now there's a there's some gloating people are gloating over him here in, if we get to verse 19 and onwards so here we go verse 18 I, I, I can't resist this verse 18 I'm going to give thanks in the great assembly don't forget about testimonies okay don't forget coming back to say thank you publicly speaking about the kindness of God. Okay, verse 19. Let those who gloat over me, who are my, uh, let not those who gloat over me, who are my enemies without cause, let not those who hate me without reason, maliciously wink the eye. Oh, it's, it's misunderstood, feeling alienated and isolated. You, you feel like that at times? They don't speak peaceably, but devise false accusations it's not easy to have things said against you. You know, we want to defend ourselves, don't we, and want to look good. But we can leave that to the Lord, okay? Okay. They don't, they, they don't speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They gape at me and say, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, oh, he's, he, she, they're a Christian. Oh, right, okay. Maybe, you know, they, they, you know what I mean? With our own eyes, we've seen it. It's very real, Lord, a feeling people questioning me and my walk with you. Oh, Lord, you have seen this. It's lovely, isn't it? He's kept, he's, we expressed that earlier on in the psalm, that the eyes of the Lord are towards him. Lord, you, you have seen it. I know, Lord, you have seen this. Don't be silent. Don't be far from me, oh, Lord. Awake! rise to my defense <laughs> you know as if god the lord was asleep which of course he's not but he's here's the psalmist longing for god to come and bring the deliverance that he's longing for lord come and help me contend for now listen to this contend for me my god and lord or my lord and my god heard that before doubting thomas dear man uh, you know, my Lord and my God, oh, <laughs> you know, through the doubting, you're my Lord and my God. Uh, vindicate me in your right, in, in your righteousness. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Now I think this. I think what does what does um, Spurgeon says something about this. Um, yes, my Lord and my God. What words they are. With their two eyes, I think he's thinking of Thomas and David, with their, with their two eyes, seeing Jehovah in two aspects, yet as one, grasping him with two hands in the double, my, my, to one heart, for the word is but one, bowing before him on both knees to worship him in reverence. Oh, sweet words. <laughs> oh, sweet words. This is Spurgeon. I will say them all my life. I will say them in the hour of death. I will say it eternally. Oh, Lord, my God. Isn't that lovely? You know, sweet words. I think Luther says something like, how precious is that word, my, my. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? So, you know, you, you're getting the idea. My Lord and my God. What words, Thomas, out of doubting into confidence. 
my Lord and my God, out of our trouble into the, the, the enjoyment of God. And as Spurgeon said, even, well, perhaps especially when you're facing sickness and, and uh, the end of, end of life here, to my Lord and my God. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Those sweet words. I would say, I'm going to say them all my life, says Spurgeon. I will say it in the hour of death. I will say it in eternity. <laughs> oh, my Lord and my God. Beautiful. I hope you've got those highlighted, okay? See, so you can jump over these things, can't you? I've got the word my circled in my Bible here, and I've got my Lord and my God underlined. So <laughs> I'm not going to miss it. Okay. Don't let them gloat over me, Lord. Don't let them think, ah, oh, just what we wanted. Or to say, We've swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. Well, as I say, we hopefully, with the grace of God in our lives, we, 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 we recognise the spiritual nature of our warfare and we, we pray accordingly against accusations, but hopefully with a love for those who are harbouring those thoughts, that they would see and be ministered to through our attitude uh, okay i'm thinking of the sermon on the mount of course may those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness in other words may those may make may, may fellow believers may those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness may they always see the say the lord be exalted <laughs> that lovely. Who del uh, may the Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. So, Lord, I want my testimony to be enjoyed by others. I want other people, those who delight in, in, in my vindication, I want them to be shouting. And that's what we do. You know, when we hear a testimony, we join in. Oh, yes, Lord, this is good. Thank you. Yeah, that's what he's talking about here. The Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. And now we come to the closed. You know, because he, he, this is all in the future. This is hope. This is, you know, it's not yet happened, but he's, he's looking in hope. Lord, that's what I'm going to do. Get me through this, but I'm going to, I, I want people to rejoice in, 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 your, in what you do in my life. I'm going to testify and we're going we're gonna to worship. And he ends up on this note of hope. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long ah, isn't that lovely oh you've got to highlight that verse my tongue will speak of your righteousness lord may that i don't want any inappropriate stuff out of my mouth my tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long little thing from augustine before we close this morning okay here. who endureth to praise god all the day long. I will suggest a remedy whereby thou mayest praise God all the day, if thou wilt. Whatever thou doest, do it well, and thou hast praise God. In other words, it, it, uh, it, just in the way we do things, the way we treat people, the way we are, we can be praising God and giving him a testimony. Okay, is that good? Let's finish with that. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long. Through my deeds, through my actions, through my words, I want to be praising you. Lord, oh yes, we want to live for your glory. Lord, thank you that even, well, especially when we're walking through tough stuff, may the way we walk through tough stuff be a testimony to those around us. Trusting that, Lord, we're going to, we will come through and we will testify and we will celebrate together your goodness and your kindness to us. So please go with us, especially those who are still waiting for your deliverance, your bringing them through. More grace, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Have a good day. And uh, I trust you found this morning helpful. Bye now.